Tourism is what much of the area thrives on, especially Colonial Williamsburg. Each year, people from all across the country come to Virginia to visit the historic city. So what's being done to keep the number of visitors up as the busy season begins? 13 News Now reporter Nico Clements took that question directly to Colonial Williamsburg staff. The goal is to stay on top as Virginia's top tourism attraction. They're very welcoming. I'm talking about Colonial Williamsburg. I'm a different person when I come in here. I'm very calm, it's very restful. I think I was born a couple hundred years too late. Dennis and Patricia Bork are financial donors for Colonial Williamsburg. They're visiting all the way from Akron, Ohio. If you know who LeBron James is, basketball star, that's where we're from. Tomorrow kicks off the new spring season. Foundation leaders say tourists are going to see several new changes this year, including an expansion of the art museums. So our whole aim here is to make this as easy and friendly for the guests as possible. The new season kicks off as Colonial Williamsburg is working to get back on track financially. The foundation lost more than $50 million from operations in 2016 and nearly $300 million in the past five years. The foundation was also more than $300 million in debt by the end of 2016. The uh, tradesmen and some of the people are still here. They didn't get rid of a lot of the, the people that need to be here that have been here for a long time. A statement from a Colonial Williamsburg spokesperson says in part, Colonial Williamsburg is on the right track towards financial sustainability. We already see substantial savings and cash flow benefits, and we are investing to drive revenue, guest satisfaction, and operational efficiencies. The Borks say they do love how transparent Colonial Williamsburg has been. They're really engaged with the people. And they don't mind making the eight and a half hour drive. They say it's worth it. In Williamsburg, Nico Clemens, 13 News Now. And Colonial Williamsburg is also trying to cater to its guests who are in the military. There's a new military information desk at the Colonial Williamsburg Regional Visitor Center. It opened over President's Day weekend. It lets military service members and their families know about different programs, exhibits, and discounts. And you can also learn more about Colonial Williamsburg with an app. The Colonial Williamsburg Explorer Guide makes it easy to get the most out of your visit. You can buy tickets through the app, get directions around Williamsburg, and even make a che checklist of must-see attractions so you don't miss out. 